Apex Nano 187RB, little lightweight from Coachman here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan, H-A-Y-L-E-T-T-R-V. We've got a beauty here. This is a awesome, small couples camper, and it's a camper, not an RV, but it's got smart equipment in the right places. It's got all the right junk in all the right places, basically. Um, you're gonna see, it's, it's my belief, guys, that every RV is the best at something. And what I like to focus on are not the generic points of the trailers that we feature here, but where each of them has its own little class and identity. For instance, we've got a bigger, wider 30-inch baggage door here, and that means you can get bigger chairs and bigger storage in here. Usually small camper means small storage, but that's really not the case here. Now, if you get down on your hands and knees and get down get funky tonight, you can see that we've got real wood in here where they, they don't have wood in the structure of this they just have some uh, wood construction furniture and uh, like this is your bed base but you see plywood decking you see lumber cross members you see real wood you don't see chip and particle board it's a superior material that means that i can find a trailer that might be a dollar cheaper somewhere but this is an area where it's most certainly a dollar better and better is a relative term better in what way i've heard someone say well the other guy said the other trailer was better, and it is probably at something, but better at what? And that's what I want to break down for you. Um, you know, smart equipment like a power awning on this. That's user-friendly, day-to-day stuff. And I tell you, one of the cosmetic updates they put on this from early to late 17 is the exterior facelift they have in here. Super sharp. The front and rear walls are accented a little bit darker. And I mean, tell me those graphics don't look three-dimensional like they're jumping right off the skin of that. They lightened up the side walls, they left the darker nose, it looks like it's moving fast even when it's sitting still. I like that. Um, the uh, structure of the thing's all aluminum. Uh, you've got uh, laminated walls, laminated floor and roof. Uh, the, uh, you know, it, to keep it lightweight, to keep it, the structural integrity up. They've done a great job of putting this together. Um, Asdell panels in the sidewalls, by the way, just under the fiberglass skin. If you don't know what Asdell is, give us a call. We can explain that very quickly and easily. A little detail stuff is something I like about Apex. The fact that they have these uh, little, uh, you know, superior little end bumper caps there. Those things fall off. The, the traditional, super cheap ones that come on a lot of trailers, they fall off like crazy. Those things stay in place. I like that. Um, the, uh, you know, this has a full walk-on roof. A lot of these mini campers do not. And uh, I can argue it either way. Someone's gonna tell me you need it. Someone tells me you don't. But the fact is, structurally, this thing is probably going to be built better than a non-walkable roof. And I can show you all, really all but one instance of that being true. I can only find one exception to the rule of that in the business. So I mentioned the, the power awning here, but the little detail stuff, like their speakers have LED lights built in here. And it's super cool. These are a neon blue glow at night. Uh, actually, I just came today from uh, the, the big manufacturer's open house show where the dealers go. They had, uh, well, last night, they had this all lit up down the apex line. It was like it was like a party. Everyone was hanging out because there was so much patio light. It was awesome. Um, they nitro fill the tires. If you're not familiar with the benefits of that, give us a call. That's one of those things some people say is better. Some people say it doesn't matter, but no one ever says it's worse. And a double entry step. Everyone's going to agree that's better than a single. It's easy come, easy go, easy in, easy out here. Now, the uh, you can see the... Oh, by the way, I, I, I shouldn't just walk past this. A strutted door. In this class, you don't get a lot of strutted doors, so the, the door can't slam open in the wind. And right here you can see the Asdell. That's that white panel underneath the fiberglass. Basically, guys, it can't rot, mold, mildew. It's a resin, not a wood. It's not a water-starved material. It's a water-repellent material. God forbid. Let's say a Michigan storm kicks up, or wherever you live, I guess, because we can deliver this anywhere, by the way. Let's say it tears your, your roof's skin, and you have a measure of water penetration. This is going to repel water. It, it's really, really hard to delaminate the skin of this trailer. Now, because this is uh, an easy little no-slide trailer, we've also got 100% carpetless. We do not have to tackle carpet in this thing. Cannot get any easier to clean than that. A broom will take care of it if you want to get fancy-fancy. We whip out the Swiffer, and uh, she'll never get clean quicker. That should, be, that should be like a slogan, Swiffer and quicker. I don't know. It's a soft rhyme, but I think something's there. If you like everything in this camper, with the exception of this decor, 
don't worry your pretty little head. With as many of these as we sell, the, the one here in this video is probably not the one that we have in stock. We may have another one that looks just like this. It might have a different decor. I don't know. My point is, I leave you a link down here that says check for price and availability. Click that. It'll show you exactly what we have, and it will show you exactly how much we're asking with the current discount levels available from Apex, because that is something that fluctuates throughout the year. So not every little mini camper like this and 3,000 pounds has a nice walk around bed, and there are power outlets, household outlets, on the base of the bed next to those stands. So like if you, can, you want to charge phones or CPAP machines or whatever. I also like the detail that they angle their mirrors inward, because what that does is it cascades more light from these cross windows inward to the trailer to keep this thing feeling more open and brighter. That's a smart feature. And if you're looking close, I don't use camera tricks, I don't use fisheye lenses because I don't believe in selling based on deception. I, I Everything is, this is how it's going to look when you see it. They have a two inch arched radius roof and it is laminated. Now, what's interesting is because this small camper doesn't need central air, but it still has the full 13,500 BTU AC, this actually has one of the strongest roofs you can really get your hands on because its lamination gets weaker when you mess with it. This has a, basically nothing uh, degrading the internal structure of the laminated roof. This is a very strong bodied camper, very robust. I, I like too that there's a very ample light package in here. You don't feel like you're uh, in a little dark box and it's fairly overcast today but it's very comfortable in here because they use good lighting now all countertops bathroom tabletop kitchen all that stuff is all a pressed membrane a sealed edge counter so it's waterproof sweat proof on a drink it's uh again just like the sidewalls you have to go out of your way to screw up an apex basically they're using um this is something not a lot of people realize. When you see this type of stereo, it's actually app enabled. It has an upgraded chipset. You can turn your Android or, Android or uh, iPhone with the, what, Jensen J app or J stereo. I don't remember what it's called. I got it on my phone. I'll have to look. Um, but there's an app you can download to turn your phone into the remote control for this, basically. So stereo, Bluetooth enabled. It's going to do all the entertainment you really need it to do. Of course, the dinette folds down into a sleeper. Of course, there's bonus storage below that dinette. But I love the size of all these windows. They put max height windows in and some pretty generous sized ones at that. Now, uh, a recent update they did, and I really like it, is they took the microwaves out of the overhead. And they put them down here. Because you don't need an oven in a little camper like this. But you do need storage. So they move the microwave down where, frankly, it's safer to take hot boiling liquids out of a microwave down from a low microwave instead of a high microwave. Giving you overhead storage. And yet we still have this nice clean look with great cabinet space down here. Gas and electric refrigerator. And plenty of prep space. While still giving us a full size sink. Now, a lot of people ask, why did they split the sink like that? And that's an excellent question that I'll answer for the people at home who didn't actually ask that question right now. The reason being, Apexes are really well designed for dry camping. They have the largest in-class holding tanks, 30, 30, 30. Now, if, if I was comparing this to a 45-foot fifth wheel, those tank capacities would seem small. But considering some manufacturers have um, tank capacities anywhere from only a dozen to maybe 18 gallons, they're nearly twice as big as industry standard. When you're dry camping, you have limited access to water. You don't want to absolutely kill your uh, freshwater holding tank, so you use the vegetable sink. When you're park camping, you use the whole thing. So they give you a split to allow you to do that. And the little stainless uh, on the uh, microwave there, it breaks this up nicely. I love the updated driftwood too. This is sharp. The, uh, they, they've always had a very textured looking wall board, um, but it, it doesn't just look like a boring flat panel. It, it doesn't cost them any more to use a nice dressed up wall board as compared to anything else. It just looks better. You know, it's a, it's a smart complement, a smart piece swap. Now here's another late 17 update. Oh my God, these are like four inch internal walls. No wonder we don't have problem with these. They're structurally supported inside as well. Holy cow. Um, no tubs. They got rid of the tubs. So uh, I've talked to so many older campers who are downsizing right now and like, man, I don't want that tub. My wife or myself or whatever, we've, we've had some knee surgery or some hip surgery and I don't want to have to build her a step just to get in the tub because I don't have room to store it in this little camper. And they heard you. Apex, listen, they agree. They got rid of it. Um, so they just have an easy step walk-in shower. We do have a big skylight up here and a power vent fan. You can see I don't even have the lighting on here because I don't need it. Remember, that's waterproof. And then 
OMG storage Batman. We've got an amazing closet and linen array back here, um, or potential pantry space, uh, you know. That this is the storage you want and need, and it's a storage that so few little campers have. Um, and that the reason that they could accomplish this is because it's a full rear bathroom. It's an eight foot wide, full size bath that most little campers don't have. A lot of little micro campers like this actually have what's called a wet bath, where the toilet is in the shower, and you can do your three S's in one place, but you can only have enough room to do two at a time. But this isn't one of those, is it? This is an Apex. It's got a lot of best-in-class features, but every camper is the best for a different reason. So if the things that I've covered in this video seem attractive to you, if this video has been useful, all you got to do is give us a call. Uh, I don't care where you live, because whether it ships from us to you or ships from the factory to a local dealer, it still ships, so that doesn't matter. And frankly, aftermarket shipping is cheaper anyway. So if you want a great deal, give us a call, because literally the only thing you have to lose is thousands of dollars if you don't. Why take that chance? So take care. Stay safe. Have fun and happy camping, everyone.